All right, guys, it's uh, your boy Nil G and the Gypsy here, and it's snack time. We got eating. We all got to eat something. Got a few ripe strawberries out of the garden, and we've got um, some cheese and crackers. Love cheese and crackers as a snack, and all of these cheeses are from Aldi's. So, you know, uh, pretty good priced and uh different than your normal ordinary cheeses so we're gonna check into that and we're also doing a taste test on baked in brooklyn were these bought it all these two yeah. huh um, aladdin bakers baked in brooklyn pita chips now they come in a couple different flavors sour cream and onion and multi-grain there might have been a third one but we're going to try the cheeses on these pita chips. So the three cheeses are that we picked out. We got three cheeses. They got a bunch of cheese down there at Aldi's. But the three that we picked out to try was jalapeno Havarti cheese. A creamy Danish style cow's milk cheese. Havarti. Jalapeno. Uh, cave Age Cheddar. Savory and traditional Cave Ripened in Greensboro, Vermont. So Cave Age is the oldest way to cure cheese. And they're still doing it in Vermont. Craft Ale. It's best served with Craft Ale, Salami, Pino Gris, or Sourdough. Cave Ripening allows a natural rind to form that boosts complexity of flavor. Did you know that? All right, and we're also going to try Hold the Dough Pizza Inspired Fontina. Pizza Inspired Fontina. All right, so we're going to try these uh, three cheeses. Stick around. for the cheeses. They smell good. Wheat. Kind of what? Cave Edge Cheddar first. Sweet. Kind of sweet. They are. At first, and then you get the pita. I don't get a whole lot of sour cream and onion. But maybe I got a... It's crumbly. Weak one. It smells intense. Got a very bold flavor. It's got a straightforward cheddar taste. It's very strong. So if you don't like that bitter, strong cheese flavor, you won't like this. It kind of breaks apart. Let's try it with a pita bread. Is this the sour cream and onion? Mm -hmm. I was really good with that onion. It kind of just melted into my mouth. But those two com uh, flavors together are really good. It says sourdough, salami, craft ale. And I can see that. This is a really strong flavor. This is really clean your palate in between stuff. Great little snack and cheese. All right. All right, friends. All right, friends. I love uh, watching Bushcraft, um, Patton's Bushcraft and Self-Reliance channel. A lot of fun over there. He's always having so much fun, friends. Always puts me in a good mood after I watch his. Now, this is a lot softer cheese. 
This is a Havarti cheese with jalapeno. Creamy Danish style cow's milk cheese. All right, friends. Oh, let me put the camera down here so you can see me cut it. Show how soft it is. Soft. All right. Snack time. Let's try this on wheat. Oh, we're going to try it by itself first. Did you want to try one of these wheat ones? The wheat beetles? Mmm, jalapeno forward. Very creamy. Can't tell you what it tastes like. Tastes like a lot like a, a string cheese would. Have you ever had those string cheese? Mm -hmm. Tastes like string yeah. cheese, but it's got jalapenos in it. You want to try it? Yeah. On a cracker or not? One Right out of the garden. Mmm. That's a 10 out of 10. That strawberry is a 10 out of it's 10. It's a good cheese. It's not real hot, though. No. Just jalapeno flavor. There's no heat. Heat level is very low, if any. I would say a zero. Just jalapeno flavor. There's no heat there whatsoever. Now, they Oldies has a habanero jack cheese, and I showed that in our dog. Uh, creation collaboration dog create hot uh, barbecue dog creation collaboration bbq dog creations that's the hashtag i showed it in that all right oh i can smell pizza already but that habanero jack that's hot i mean it's hotter it's really not that bad oh i got a little strawberry juice on there Let's see if it's just on the outside or if it's the whole cheese. It tastes like pizza. Mm. I didn't really have any seasoning on there and that whole thing tastes like pizza. Like you can get the pepperoni. I'm tasting a little pepperoni, the oregano, the olive oil, a little bit of tomato. It tastes like pizza and without crust. Yeah. You can put that on a cracker and you would have crust. That's all the seasonings are in there. So. Cheese. You like pizza? Get you some of that. This is a real soft cheese. It would be great for like um, grilled cheese or anything you want to melt. Uh, cheese, jalapeno flavor cheese. Get jalapeno flavor and cheese on. This would be perfect. And this would be great to snack on. Especially if you're sitting around having a pint of ale or you want to put this on a nice um, spicy Italian sub. This would be really good on that. Cave, cave Age Cheddar. Check these and all the other cheeses out at Aldi's. And the pita chips. What would you say about them, Tammy? Pretty good. They're okay. I don't know why I eat them by Let me try one of these. I wouldn't eat the wheat ones by themselves. I would. I want to dip them in something. Yeah. Same. Now, the sour cream and onion ones. I could just eat on those. Those are good. Alright. No. Taste test and food review from the Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla. Till next time. Peace out. Find the art and everything, guys.